Hello, hello, this is Scott, uh, Tropical Living's pet scientist. And I've said it before, but a lot of people say I'm a mad scientist. I'm not really a mad scientist, I'm just annoyed. And let me tell you what annoys me, okay? Tropical Living for 30 years has been bringing real Jamaican black castor oil up from Jamaica. Who'd think? Jamaican black castor oil. Hey, and you go and you look on the shelves and there's all this stuff. It says Jamaican black castor oil, cold pressed. You can't cold press Jamaican black castor oil. It says Jamaican black castor oil and you look, made in China. They don't make Jamaican black castor oil in China. So let's talk about Jamaican black castor oil because it's really amazing, okay? First off, what you need to know is, is that Jamaican black castor oil is a technology. It is a method of maximizing the nutritional value of something simple. Castor beans. Right? By the way, don't eat these. Why? 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 But the castor beans come from the castor tree and the making of black castor oil goes back before the Egyptians. They found tombs of pharaohs with bottles of this oil in it, and it's still good. You can't do that in a factory. If you're gonna make Jamaican black castor oil, you gotta have people go out and pick it wild. They bring it in, it's foraged. You bring it down, you clean it, you make sure it's all good, and then you roast it over a fire. Ain't nobody got time for that. And you don't just like put it on a fire and stir it once in a while, you gotta pay attention. We got some video on our website, you gotta see with our guys doing this out in the bush. But you gotta roast it intentionally, you gotta pay attention when it's exactly right. You take it off the file and you grind it up. And then you take that and you put it in water and you boil it. So you're extracting the oil from the ground roasted beans, okay? And what you get when you're done is this beautiful oil and it smells toasty. It smells better than coffee. It smells better than anything you've ever had that's roasted. And it's magic because it was fire roasted and then it was ground and it was water extracted. You get everything out of the bean. You get all of the components, every single nutritional component. So that's real Jamaican black castor oil. It's sticky, it has a distinct aroma, and it's made using a 5,000-year-old technology that was preserved by the African slaves when they were brought to Jamaica. And when they escaped and got back up into the bush, they started making it the same way they had at home. So there's a lot of substitutes. There's a lot of fake product out there, but real Jamaican black castor oil, my God, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Let me show you. It looks like this. So, the thing about castor oil is it's really a unique vegetable oil, okay? Vegetable oils come from soybeans. You can make oil from wheat, but most of them are sunflowers and olives and avocados, and those are technically fruit oils, right? Because those are coming from fruits. But castor oils are kind of unique because they come from a tree, a castor tree. And you, know, you can go to Wikipedia and look up pictures and everything, but the castor tree is unique because it's the only plant in the world, and this being the only world we know of in this universe, this is the only oil like it in the whole universe. It has ricinoleic acid, which is this amazing compound that has astonishing antimicrobial properties, but it comes from a tree. So remember when you're... Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do? Remember, whenever you're looking at the ingredients in any kind of product, if you see castor oil, then you know you're getting that ricinoleic acid, and that stuff is magic.